Good morning, family. It's the day before Thanksgiving. And yes, preparation has begun. Welcome back to my channel, Linda's Daughter Donna. I have several situations going on here with my colored greens. I am the girl who buys the packaged, already chopped and washed colored greens. But don't get it twisted. Even though the package says that it's washed and cleaned and whatever, I go through my greens. I dump all of the content of the package into a huge pot with cold water, salt, and baking soda. And I soak that bad boy. Or let's not say bad boy. I soak that greens for a while and I go through it myself. This doesn't belong in my greens. These were washed again, and I still have a bunch more to go. These are my smoked turkey wings, and this is my nice, clean, shiny pot. I am going to add a little bit of oil in here, and then I'm going to, once it's hot enough, I'll start sauteing my um, smoked turkey wings so that I can get the flavor in the oil and then I'm gonna take them out and saute my onions so that my onions can soak up the goodness of the smoked flavor from the wings okay turkey wings in the pot it's going to even, they're not being browned. They're just being sauteed a little bit so that the oil in the bottom of the pot can soak up some of this flavor. And everything is getting done in this pot. And here are my chopped onions. This is one big yellow onion. It's all I need. So I'm just gonna saute these for a good three to five minutes. Take them out. And then I'll add my onion. Turkey wings are out of the pot. Now I'm going to saute my onion. Once the onions are sauteed, I will add the greens to the onions and the turkey wings back in. And then I'll also add two cups of chicken broth. Here we go. Onions are in the pot. Smoked turkey wings are in the pot. Greens are in the pot. And now I am going to add two full, well, this is two cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna give this a little stir around as best as possible. I'm gonna cover this and I am going to turn my stove. It's an electric stove, so I'm going to turn it down to about three or four, three or four. That's gonna be a slow cook. I'm in no rush. About an hour or so in the process or when it's half an hour to tenderness, I'll add the rest of my ingredients, which I'll tell you. And it's not gonna be a lot of stuff. So good morning, it's me again. I know I've been talking to you, but you haven't really seen me. Yes, I have started preparing for Thanksgiving. I'm so glad you could tune in with me today. My next step is to handle the bird. Well, part of the bird. I'm only doing a turkey breast this year because my family really don't do, what do they call it? White meat, dark meat? They don't do the dark meat of poultry. So I actually did um, a brine for my turkey breast, as you can see, and it's seasoned with uh, my green seasoning. I had it in a nice brine, but I'm going to have to use some bleach to put on my counter. So this is my turkey breast. 
So the deal is now I'm going to put it in this container, if you can see the container, and leave it opened in the refrigerator for a few hours so it can start drying out because your turkey breast, it has to be, that's the skin and the outer thing, it has to be dry. I'm gonna put this in my refrigerator at the top shelf so that it could start drying out a bit. And it's gonna be in there for a couple of hours. When I get ready to stick this in the oven, it's gonna be brought back out and I'm going to do a garlic butter paste inside the cavity of the turkey breast, under the skin and all over the turkey breast. And I'm going to roast. I'll show you that process also. I am back at it with my collard greens. I am getting ready and don't mind my paper with my um, instructions. This is a, a cap of red pepper flakes and a tablespoon of brown sugar. That's all I want in there. And I have a quarter cup of vinegar. I'm gonna put these in and stir and come back to you. Let me tell you, it is super delicious already. You can hardly see any steam coming from this, but it's cooking, like I said, low and slow. I'm gonna leave this on for another hour uh, with the lid on, and then I'm gonna turn this off and let it just sit and soak in the juices. I'm actually gonna start cooking some fried chicken for dinner tonight, which I'm not gonna show on camera uh, because people need to eat tonight. But boy, I feel good about all that has to be done. The next thing I have to do is start prepping my oxtails. Rice and beans is a breeze because that's what I'm gonna be making as well. And some roasted vegetables. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. This is how the process usually works in my house. What we're looking at is 50 US dollars worth of oxtails that have been marinating overnight in my refrigerator. It's probably around 4.13 a.m. And while my family sleeps, what I do is I get up, I get the oxtails out of the refrigerator, I have it sit for about 30 minutes to bring it to room temperature as best as possible. And then I'm gonna take it over to this pot where I'm going to start browning the pieces. And then I will transfer it to my trusty old crock pot, which I'm going to set for eight hours on high to start the cooking process. By the time my family wakes up, or by the time my family arises for Thanksgiving, dinner will be already on the way. I'm not sure when oxtail became so very expensive, but oxtails are $9 per pound. And I think I bought these are a combined, I think this is just about two tails cut up. I don't eat oxtail a lot, but it's usually an ask for Thanksgiving. And it's usually either curry goat or oxtail along with the other traditional um, Thanksgiving meals. I'm waiting for my oil to get hot enough to start browning. Once this goes in the crock pot, I'm going back upstairs and I'm going to probably go back to sleep. I don't want to be too tired. Usually, after Thanksgiving is over, I am wiped out. But this year, I'm hoping I'll be rested and relaxed. 
you know, as I, as I am, I'm doing this process of taking the oxtails from the pile here, browning them, and then transferring it to my crock pot. I'm realizing that this is really not a lot of oxtails in I don't know how this is fifty dollars worth of oxtails, but it is. I'm not complaining. I'm I'm thankful. I'm very thankful that we can put food on our table. Very thankful. But I, I don't know how folks are surviving, but by the grace of God. Ox steel has been seared and they're in the crock pot. I have, wish I had beef broth to keep this thing cooking in broth um, in beef, but I have about a cup and a half of chicken stock that I warmed up in the microwave and I'm going to pour it over my ox tails. Yes, when you do it, you make sure you use your beef stock. So I have that on, and now, let me, oops. Now I have the lid on my crock pot, and I lit a really nice candle. It's a cashmere scent. I am going to reset my crock pot for six hours high cook time and now it's probably about 10 minutes to five I am going to just close up the lid properly I'm going back upstairs okay I am back in the kitchen I'm getting ready to finish up my oxtail. This portion is done. I'm going to be transferring the oxtails from the crock pot into this pot here. What I'm doing is getting the meat out of that greasy, oily, uh, lots of goodness juices. And I'm going to strain or take off a lot of that oil and the remaining flow liquid I'm going to use to make the gravy that I'm going to simmer with my oxtail and my butter beans. Guess who's not at home? Me. Here I am talking about putting butter beans into my oxtails instead of spinners and I did not even have one can of butter bean in my pantry. So now I'm on my way to the one store that I think may be open today, Thanksgiving Day. They're probably open until about one o'clock and I really hope they're open so I can get some butter beans because if there's a store that would have it, it will be this store. Oh, wait a minute, I'm shocked. The Dollar Tree is even open. Come on, little girl, come on, cross the street so I can get to the store before. Yes, they're open. Now, Lord, please let there be butter beans on the shelf. So I'm gonna run into this store real quickly. And my fingers are crossed that they have butter beans. So I got my butter beans. I was looking for Grace because I'm partial to Grace, but they had Goya butter beans. And I can never go into a store and pick up one thing. So I hear a lot of people talking about this fish and meat sauce that goes well on everything. And I saw it and I got a bottle. So I'm gonna put a little bit, I hope, it, I hope it's good on my oxtails and DNG pineapple soda. Of course, we ain't supposed to be having soda but after eating, you might need some little, what do you call it now? Something to give you a nice burp. So I bought a pineapple soda and 
I bought Grace, not Grace, DNG Jamaica. Oh, this is pineapple ginger. I really only wanted ginger beer. I don't have time. I'll keep it. Somebody will drink it, hopefully. I thought I was picking up ginger beer. That's what happened when you're in a rush. And I didn't go to the store for that. So, it's alright. It'll come in handy one way or the other. I don't think I've ever had pineapple ginger. I don't drink a lot of soda. Hardly. Hardly ever drink soda, but I guess I'll try that. I need to be at the house at which we're having Thanksgiving dinner because we're gonna be fixing or cooking a couple of things there. I think I mentioned that. We're gonna make the stuff in there, the cornbread and the turkey breast, which takes two hours. So if I can get the turkey breast in the oven by one o'clock there, it'll be ready by three for sure it will be cooked and rested because it's just a turkey breast yeah and then dinner can be at about 4 4 30. we don't normally eat dinner until like six seven o'clock at night thanksgiving we're okay for a five o'clock dinner and we can sit down and watch football or some Hallmark movies or whatever but I think I'm on track I'm on track it's still not 12 o'clock yet and I'm gonna go finish the oxtail at my house which is pretty much done I just have to make the sauce that I'm gonna pour over the oxtail and simmer the beans with the oxtail in this wonderful sauce that's how I do it and then I'll just load up my car and head over to Love Compassionately. Here's my rice and beans. I did not go through this process with you. Everybody already know how to cook rice and beans. And there's a 50 million YouTube recipes and people cooking rice and peas. This is mine. Alrighty, I'm sure it tastes good. In this pot, I have some, I'm going to say grease. This is the oil, some of the oil from the drippings from making the oxtails in the crock pot. So I'm not gonna dump all of the oil that's on here. I took some of it and it's in here and I'm gonna saute some onions and garlic and some habanero peppers and scallions in here with my butter beans after the onions are translucent. Once I have this going, I'm gonna make a little roux because I need to thicken up my gravy a little bit. Once the sauce is ready, I'm gonna put the oxtails back in here to cook some more for just about 10 minutes so I can get all that sauce soaked into the oxtails. Look at that, that is quite a bit of fat that I've skirted off the drippings from the crock pot. I definitely didn't want this to be in my sauce. Wish I could get some more out, but time is of the essence. And so now I will continue with the sauce. So I have my onions and pepper and scallion and garlic in here. I'm going to add the drippings from my crock pot. Crock pot is pretty heavy so hold on there we go now i'm gonna make my roux to thicken this up and taste as i go along and whatever powdered seasoning i need to put in here to bring this up if it needs to be brought up i will butter beans are going in next not sure you can see everything that's in here because of the steam but the butter beans are in and i did put a little bit of um 
adobo seasoning in here. It's like an all-purpose seasoning. Um, a little bit of thyme. And I also added, what else did I, oh, a little bit of onion powder. That's all I've added. I used chicken broth because I did not have beef broth. There we go. I'm singing. I'm singing because I can't wait to taste this. I think my family is going to enjoy this one. So that's it for now. Um, the next time you see me, I will be at the other house while we start preparing the other things. I'm still on schedule. It's about 12.12. 12, and I said I wanted the turkey breast to be in the oven by one o'clock. So enough talking. See you soon. This is the beginning of my roasted vegetables. I'm tired, I'm sitting down. So you will not see me peeling these in the kitchen. Just another Thanksgiving thing. Been up since 4.30, actually, yes, 4.30 or four o'clock actually. Four o'clock, so now I'm tired. This old lady have to sit down. I don't usually delegate, but since I'm tired, my darling sissy is peeling the potatoes for me. This is going to be a part of my roasted vegetables. Potatoes, yams, sweet peppers, and onions. Tell me that doesn't look good already. So these are the vegetables that are um, chopped up big and marinating in the Italian dressing. I already have one tray in the oven, but I had a lot, so I had to make two trays. I'm browning the sausage, getting it ready for the stuffing. And this stuffing will not be too elaborate. Sausage, celery. What else? Onion. Onions. Herbs. And this is sage sausage. So it has a lot of, um, it's very flavorful. So there's not gonna be a lot of additional things put in stuff and we don't want it to be too salty. I didn't use a lot of salt this time, I think. Are you all wondering how Linda's daughter Donna is doing with her family kind of rushing her? She'll tell you right now. I didn't tell anybody to come here hungry. <laughs> how much have you been annoyed? I was not responsible On a scale dinner. from one to 10. 15. <laughs> I'm just keeping it together. Nice and quiet. Yes. Woo! One more thing done. Melting the butter, warming up the stock all at the same time. And this is going to be the juice for the, the cubed stuffing.
Who was that? bit of water make sure we have it I'm watching Catherine and the kids look in each other's eyes and then Now we're gonna make some garlic butter for the roasted potatoes. I definitely need more butter and a little bit more garlic. I'm not using a lot of salt to cook today because everything is going to be filled with sodium. Alrighty, now let's put the potatoes in just to get them slathered with the buttery mixture. And these were boiled just to get them a little tender. Now this is gonna go back into this pan and back into the oven. We're trying to have dinner ready by 5 p.m. And I think I'm on target. It's now 3.48. All the potatoes are nice and slathered. Back into the pan. Yeah, let's get everything out of this pan. Crazy. There's more, I just only put a little because I know y'all don't like Give me that spoon. Do you remember this? These are the signs you can't tell the of a delicious Thanksgiving dinner. Auntie Andrea, what do you listen to? Cornbread. All right, look, you don't know that face? One slice of turkey, cheesecake, so what you listen to? greens. There goes another plate. Making any excuses for this table is just a sign of a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. That's my editor. Let's see if she leaves that in. The other lady ran. But we heard. We, we hear heard, her laughing. Yes. We're just having some fun here. Oh no. All right. I think this is the end of my wonderful Thanksgiving extravaganza. I had a good time. Small crowd, but it was the best. I'm so glad you were able to stop by and watch this vlog. Subscribe to this channel, like, and comment.